indeed a blessed new year the Lord has given us. And thanks for joining me again on the Healing Streams broadcast. The title for today's reflection is Freedom to Choose, Genesis chapter 3. God created people with the freedom to choose or to reject him. When his creation chose to rebel, God revealed his plan for salvation. Life seems to get tougher when we don't obey the I mean the word of God and to what is right. Adam and Eve had it made in the Garden of Eden. The first family lived in an ideal setting of a succulent or lushed home prepared for them by their Creator. The Garden of Eden for Adam and Eve was more of a Garden of God, a place of delight or pleasure, as well as training ground where they learned valuable lessons that we can still learn from today. Yes, we are God's children, no different than Adam and Eve. Our Garden of Eden is the church setup, where like Adam and Eve, we can enjoy the ability to talk to our God and to know that he will speak to us in return. Preparing such an ideal setting to and for Adam and Eve, their creator will visit them nightly. I will think they anticipated those evening breaks or breathing spaces or interludes with the all-knowing God sounded like walking in the garden. Can you imagine welcoming the God of Abraham who is present everywhere at the same time into your family after supper? God is rational. He made man after his own image so that they could fellowship together. God saw that even though Adam was surrounded by every sort of animal in pairs, just as in today's world, we are surrounded by phones, social media, our time taken over by 24-hour jobs, kids in school longer period than expected, therefore no fellowship with God. And so God realized that Adam was surrounded by every sort of animal in pairs, no less. He, God, needed someone to correspond to Adam. God gently put Adam, Ish, in the Hebrew, to sleep and fashioned Eve, Isha, in the Hebrew, from his rib. He placed one scoop of clay upon another until a form lay lifeless on the ground. But within the clay creation, lying there, is a monsoon of love swelled up within him. Adam had died for the creation before God had made. God's form bent over the sculptured face and breathed. The dust stared on the lips of the new one. The chest rose, cracking the red mud. The cheeks fleshened, a finger moved, and an eye opened. But more incredible than the moving of the flesh was the staring of the spirit. Those who could see the unseen gasped. It is eternal, gasped another. Within the man, God had placed a divine seed, a seed of himself, the God of might, had created earth mightiest. 
The creator had created not a creature, but another creator. And the one who had chosen to love had created one who could love in return. Now, it's our choice. When Adam awoke, he was overwhelmingly joyful and happy with God's handiwork and exclaimed in our own vernacular, Wow! This is it. Wow! This is awesome. Whatever Eve responds, that was the beginning of the first family. The man and the woman were incredibly alike and mysteriously different. But what made Adam and Eve didn't live happily ever after? Was it a different voice? They became the first dysfunctional family, unfortunately, after the serpent approached Eve. For what? Did God really say? Genesis chapter 3 verse 1. That is the voice of the serpent. With the serpent presence and present. Now, Eve and the serpent are sitting and talking and eating. But why would she allow this crafty animal to deceive, control, and manipulate her? Eventually, rule it over her. Do people you allow into your life exploit your weaknesses? To harm you. Since then, life got tougher for Adam and Eve because they disobeyed God's voice and listened to the serpent and didn't do what is right. Satan constantly tries to persuade us to disobey God. If we are not careful, Satan's subtle ways can be our downfall. Yes. Satan strives daily to undo everything that God has accomplished. He is crafty and sly and will tell us whatever it is he thinks we want to hear in order to get us to disobey our God. When Adam and Eve Opted to exercise their free will instead of gaining freedom, they lost most of the freedom they already had. They lost their freedom to live in the garden and to walk with God. They lost their freedom from shame. They lost their freedom from guilt. They lost their freedom from fear. They lost their freedom from pain. They lost their freedom from suffering as well as freedom from conflict with each other. And they became slaves to sickness and death. Remember, that Cain and Abel used to live together in harmony until the fall when envy and jealousy and bitterness took almost all of their relationship with God and one another. Sin always results in the loss of freedom can you imagine living in a world or environment where blame game is the order of the day? Yes, it's your fault that I'm so unhappy. Those are one of the blame games. Always, there's shift of responsibility to another. As his own doing. You are the source of all my problems. Yes, another blame game. Adam and Eve had that opportunity and lost it in the pursuit of freedom. 
every time. You and I choose to abuse the freedom. We lose a freedom. Every time people choose to abuse a freedom, they lose a freedom. God did not create you and I as robots. It is my prayer. And probably yours as well. As we have gifted with this new year. During this first week and first month of 2022. You and I will praise him for giving us the ability even to serve and to love and purposefully. And even thank him for his gifts of freedom and creativity that he has showered upon our lives. Set aside time this first week of 2022 year for what I call creative praise and determine to faithfully give your first paycheck of 2022 to God as your first fruit for God's supernatural and uncommon blessings upon your life and your family. It is my prayer that you and I will make that choice today and now. May the good Lord bless you, strengthen you. This is a journey that you and I haven't tread upon before. But there's one thing clear. The good shepherd has gone ahead of us. Make that choice today. Stay blessed and Happy New Year. Bye-bye.